board meetings happen every two weeks and it's when everyone gets together to assess you. And I mean everyone. There's your big G psychiatrist, some training doctors, your named nurse, the matron of the ward, a social worker and a few other people who I've got no idea about. And my mum and dad. <laughs> These meetings are very important. If one goes your way, it could mean freedom. Now, recently I've only been given two escorted walks since my escape to the champagne bar. But this doesn't change my mindset. Every fortnight, I'm convinced they're going to let me out. I'm clearly not mad. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even mentally ill. I'm not depressed. If anything, I feel mentally positive. God damn it, I never felt this good. Well, I would be having a whale of a time if my parents hadn't decided for some baffling reason to get me sectioned. I'm still quite pissed off with them about that. Okay, they say it wasn't them. It was the two shrinks and the social worker who condemned me to this loony bin. But they'd never met me. They hadn't read the nose that nobody picked. How could they know that it was a agnostic parable that was gonna change the world they probably never met a genius before okay 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 they may have met some nutters who claimed they were geniuses but they'd never met a genuine dyed in the wool artistic genius like me Some people might find this ward meeting, this room full of strangers, a little bit intimidating. But oh no, not me. This is a room all interested in David Parking. This is an audience. I have treated them to poetry about why I clearly should be discharged. I've even tried to play them a song or two, but I wasn't allowed to take the guitar in the ward meeting. I mean, can you believe that? I mean, if this was a paid gig, people would be paying good money for those seats. I find medical people frustratingly bland in their appreciation of the arts. As is the custom, my mum and dad go in and have a quiet word before I go in. No worries, this gives me time to prepare. Hang on, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Oh, it's going up my nose. There we go. I am beckoned in. Nothing. Not even a smirk, just blank faces. I have a pair of underpants on my head and two pencils sticking up my nose. My mother sighs and just gives herself a long, slow, sad face palm. Okay, so maybe the people didn't grow up with it like I did. But a few people in the room must have. Surely not everyone in the room is missing my very cutting, I must say, and clever and funny homage to Blackadder. You know the one where he's um trying to get out of the war and he's pretending to be mad and so he sticks two pencils up his nose and underpants on his head. I am being very clever and hilarious. You might say that if you're going to a meeting to decide whether you are sane enough to be let out into the outside world, the last thing you want to do <laughs> is put a pair of underpants on your head. 
and stick two pencils up your nose. But those pe people aren't as smart or as funny as I am. Who's doing Blackadder? Says my dad weakly to the quizzical looks. I sit down, rather grandly cross my legs and survey the room. Deadpan. Uh, David, says the head shrink. Would you care to explain the underpants and, well, your nose? Once again, I slowly meet everyone's eye. This is going to be good. Then, with an utterly straight face, I say, Wibble! <laughs>